गुड इवनिंग इन टूडे सेशन लेट्स डिस्कस ए टॉपिक अंडर एनवायरमेंट एंड दिस टॉपिक इज मैन एनिमल कॉन्फ्लिक्ट दिस इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी वन ऑफ द वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू आवर एग्जामिनेशन इफ यू लुक एट आवर इको सिस्टम एवरी लिविंग बींग हैज एवरी राइट टू लिव इन दिस इको सिस्टम and there should be a peaceful and harmonious coexistence of all the living beings but what is happening because the man is more powerful the animals are being destroyed either the animals are being captured or the animals are being rescued and they are being relocated first point we need to understand is that whether they are encroaching into our habitat or a man is encroaching into their habitat we know the answer very clearly it is the human beings human beings are encroaching into the habitat of the wild animals and that is leading to the conflict at the same time whenever the animals don't get food in the forest they will be entering into they are entering into the area where the human beings are living so that is the reason why there are conflicts sometimes people will die sometimes the animals are dying in the hands of the people now what should be done so they, because it is the ecosystem every living being has equal right to live we should think in such a way that there should be harmonious coexistence of all the living beings but what is happening now so much of awareness is being created in india and also across the world to protect various species clear but what is happening now on the name of rescue on the name of capture on the name of relocation these animals are being harmed very frequently we read these in the newspapers now the point is that in order to maintain our ecosystem properly what should be the mechanisms to handle these wild animals clear so based on this i have a question for you look at the question relocation of a wild animal disrupts two ecosystems one that the animal is taken from and the other to which the animal is introduced comment how to write answer for this for example if you look at you know most of the times we see you know many people will make the videos on this somebody will catch hold of a snake from a particular area so that area may be the habitat of that particular snake and the snake is captured and on the name of the relocation on the name of protecting that snake this snake is being captured and being thrown into thrown at a very large distance so that is being thrown into some thick forest so one side we are happy that that particular snake has been rescued on the other side we are throwing that into a very very longer distance but what happens to that animal after being introduced into the new ecosystem that is the point in the new ecosystem already other snakes are existing so obviously that leads to tension and conflict among those animals that is the reason why the research is indicating very clearly that when an animal is captured from a place and if it is introduced in some other ecosystem that is leading to the conflicts and that is leading to the perishing of these species so this is a point that you need to understand being a person who is preparing for the civil services examination and a group one main examination clear and how to write answer for this first you understand we are going to discuss regarding the relocation of animals relocation means capture it at one place and throw it in some other habitat clear very very important that is called relocation relocation of a wild animal disrupts two ecosystems one that the animal is taken from and the other to which the animal is introduced 
hope you understood the question here in order to write answer for this question you should know the difference between rescue removal capture rescue removal and capture you should know the meaning of this then comes the concept of the relocation right and again i am telling you relocation of animals is not that advisable this is disrupting the ecosystems clear so let's try to understand what is capture what is rescue and what is relocation after that we'll start writing answer for this look at this when it comes to rescue for example see here many times we see in the you know this uh, videos also uh, a calf of you know elephant elephant the baby elephant uh, is you know this uh, it got uh, you know separated from its head and it is isolated so now rescuing means taking this baby and you know joining the baby in the head is considered to be rescue snakes are trapped at home without harming them holding them carefully and leaving them in a safe place is called you know rescuing is that okay that is number one number two sometimes we will see you know in the river areas you know some elephants are trapped and taking them from that place to a very safer place is called a rescue is that okay but when it comes to the word capture capture is a serious one capture is nothing but a conflict that is the reason why you know many times you read in the newspaper leopard has been captured right a tiger has been captured so when you are capturing that is leading to some you know a sort of a conflict and after capturing you are relocating it and that is disturbing the ecosystem clear now so now you understood the difference between rescue and you know the capture now let's go ahead now let's look at the answer the escalating frequency of human wildlife interaction is undeniable right the human and wildlife right interaction which is escalating that is undeniable one should look for better solutions than those which focus solely on reactive capture and relocation and it is frequently proven unsustainable right capturing is okay relocating is also okay but that is proven unsustainable meaning these animals are unable to survive unable to survive in the new location hence it is not advisable recently also you know so we read uh, a news from you know karnataka and one from uttar pradesh in karnataka you know an elephant has been captured right so it was radio tagged and it was left you know or 200 kilometers away and that entered into you know other state so when that state has got the problem again they wanted to capture the elephant but because of the struggle that elephant died unfortunate right similar type of incident happened with the leopard even in you know uttar pradesh so these are the <coughs> incidents that will come across <coughs> very frequently so now this conflict has to be mitigated and there should be coexistence of both men as well as the animals clear right so the effective response and proactive conflict management system is when the tense situation is mitigated without the need to capture or relocate an animal so the beauty lies in such a step that you have tension you have conflict but mitigate it don't capture it right so don't capture it and don't relocate it clear now look at this you know central government after taking the advice from the experts just because you are citing an elephant just because you are looking at you know leopard don't capture it don't capture it right and capturing should be the last resort according to you know the central government and the central government gave these guidelines after the advice from the experts clear in the field this advice is being ignored this is a problem 
that is the reason why though the forest officials are saying that we are rescuing those animals in reality they are being captured now my dear friends you know the difference between rescue and capture rescue is safety rescue is harmonious rescue is for the purpose of coexistence but when it comes to ca capture capture is conflict capture is a tense situation capture is for relocation which is not at all advisable clear so there is a failure to distinguish distinguish between capture removal and rescue for example snakes that are trapped in homes leading to poor handling unnecessarily removing from their habitats and relocation to unknown terrains what will happen to a human being if the human being is left in an unknown terrain same thing will happen at least human being will speak to some other human being and he may try to come back but that is not possible for the animals and they are not sustainable in new terrains very very important one clear many times we see many video clips you know on youtube right and these people are saying that so we have rescued a snake clear but in fact there is not rescuing that is capturing and relocating and there is leading to the sooner death of that particular species clear right so the relocated animals have extremely poor survival prospects one species is under the threat from the another in other reloc uh, in other location so after relocation what happened there may be already some snakes there may be there may be already you know the leopards there may be already you know the tigers but relocation is leading to tension and conflicts among those animals that is the reason why the survival is becoming very difficult for them hence we the people should understand the difference between rescue and capture rescue capture and removal clear and capturing and relocation is not a solution capturing should be the last resort so what can be done a realistic assessment of the situation by identifying the problem limiting any factors that may stress the animal right so whatever is uh, you know to the possible extent so whatever the reasons that are giving stress to the animal that should be you know avoided making sure other proactive measures have been exhausted and basing on any intervention on most ethical means one that considers the welfare of the animals and the people involved very 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 important just like the welfare of the people the welfare of the animals is also really really important proactive mitigation strategies must be taken up to avoid conflicts before they occur should always be the first instinct very 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 important one so prevention is always better than cure so hence preventive measures must be taken by the concerned authorities so we have a karnataka model what is karnataka model that is important early warning system regular monitoring fencing better lighting public education and improved waste management to reduce or better prepare communities for potential interactions with the wildlife so these are all the models that are being followed by karnataka and this should also be adopted in various states in india for maintaining our ecosystems clear now look at this to conclude this one there are significant animal welfare needs which we must take into account even as we look to find the most successful approaches to conflict resolution through relocation and related strategies we should look for an approach that leaves every one of us humans and animals alike better off meaning a simple my dear friends this is a very 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 sensitive and delicate topic we have discussed and we are touching upon certain points that the wild life has to be protected on the name of the rescue animals are being captured and in this conflict animals are dying on the name of relocation 
on the name of the safety you are throwing the animals somewhere else that is leading to more tensions more conflicts in the new habitat where these animals have been introduced and that is not sustainable that is the reason why preventive measures must be taken by the people and the authorities concerned clear thank you so much for being with me this evening and i wish you all very very good luck and i will see you in the next session thank you so much